What's going on everybody? Going Youper here. And uh, just going to chat a little bit. And then uh, we will run into the snake room. And I will show you. Uh, hopefully we have a lock. I don't know. Just put the mail in there a little while ago. But he loves it. <laughs> he loves the females. Um, but on another note. So I went to go get insurance on this place. You know, renter's insurance. Just good to have. You know, it's, it's very inexpensive. And, um, you know, if somebody happens to break in or something or destroy something or who knows what, I will be protected. Or if they come in here and break their leg or whatever, you know, I will still be protected. So I went into the insurance company, and this is also where I get my car insurance as well. And they like me there. They know about the snake things. And um, we get along really well. You know, we have a lot of fun. And um, I went in there and started talking to the lady about, you know, getting insurance on this place and she mentioned that she's like oh should you get all the snakes over there and I was like yeah most of them and the guy that was in there says oh you're the snake man yes I hate the snake man <laughs> it, it, I've said this before but it's like the new age cat lady you know what I mean but uh, again you can't pick your own nicknames there's nothing I can do um, I've been called worse I said well I guess so yeah and uh, he goes oh yeah we were all talking about you last night in the town hall meeting now, the town hall meetings, I guess, now that I know, are on the first Tuesday of every month. And I was like, really? You know, I, I kind of figured it would come up sooner or later. And uh, he said, yeah, 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 you, you were a hot topic. You know, not a lot happens around here. And I go, so how'd it go? Is it good or bad? He goes, no, it was fine. You know, there's, there's no ordinances against what you're doing whatsoever. And uh, you're 100% fine. I go, like, well, you know. I know there was a few people that were, had concerns, you know, because there's people that, you know, they, they watch on the news and they see snakes in the Everglades, you know, and, and that they run rampant and produce and reproduce and, you know, they come up your toilets and choke your children or whatever. Now, I'm not really clowning these people because I understand. They, they just don't have enough knowledge about ball pythons and snakes in general, you know. And I feel like it's going to be my job to kind of turn them slowly. Um, it started back when I did my first ball python demonstration at the state park and um, it will continue on with the schools and so on and, and after a little bit people will be a little bit more comfortable but um, I, I was curious man I would have loved to have been at that meeting so I'm definitely going to go to the rest of the meetings and uh, I'd love to know what was said I'm sure somebody had some concerns and it seemed like the guy that I was talking to I think he may have been on the board and um and he was like, nah, you're 100% within your rights to do what you want over there, man. You got, you know, no issue at all. It wasn't, a, it wasn't no negative stuff really at all, so it's all good, you know. But I know it was the hot topic over there. and oh, So I am definitely not missing the next meeting for sure. I, I definitely want to wanna be there. The problem with me being there is I don't think people will be as open as I would like them to be. You know, if they're worried or they're scared or they have questions, I want to be there to answer those questions. You know, I think that that's only fair and only right and it might help them out you know if I can answer a few of their questions a few of their worries if they have worries then awesome but it sounded like he the guy that I think is part of the board was totally behind it and thought it was great matter of fact he wanted to sell me his building which is about three or four buildings down it used to be an old hair salon and I actually videoed that building a long time ago and was thinking about buying that building in the first place and um so I thought that was pretty cool, and that's like a really good sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and book something over at the school as soon as possible. And um, like I said, I'm just going to integrate myself in the community a little bit more. Um, I've been a recluse over at my house, you know, working from home, and I don't really come into town all that often. Um, more and more people are starting to know who I am, though, as, you know, the years go on, <laughs> you know. Uh, a bunch of people have already told me it's going to take me anywhere from 20 to 40 years to kind of be part of the community. And, you know, and I know it sounds extreme, but I, I kind of believe them. You know, I, I see how things work around here. And that's not an all bad thing, to be totally honest with you. Um, it, this community is tight. You know, they're, everybody's tight. And a lot of people are married into other families. You know, like, you know, this family married and married somebody from this family and stuff. So the unit is really tight around here. And I like that. I like a tight, nice community. And as soon as I become part of it, it will be awesome. Until then, a little bit of a rocky road, you know, I mean, it's hard to sit over here a little bit, 
knowing that, you know, some people across the street might be weary of me and stuff. But they're not the type of people that will come over and just introduce themselves and, and try and get to know you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the first step. And again, if some people don't like it, there's nothing I can do about that, you know, but try and change their minds by educating them about ball pythons. Um, maybe in your city this wouldn't be a big deal, and, and back home in Port Charlotte, nobody would even care, you know, it wouldn't even be a thought in the world. But because this county and town is so small, you know, little, t little tiny topics become the talk of the town. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in the next journal. <laughs> so... And that's cool, you know what I mean? I was in the journal when I did the demonstration, and it was all positive awesomeness. And the lady that runs the JWL State Park, the the um, the director, uh, she loves me. She's And Lou, if you're watching this video, I love you too. You are an amazing woman, and I had so much fun there, and I'm definitely coming back this summer. Uh, and thank you for the Christmas card. She sent me a Christmas card. That was really awesome. And um, I think she's like the first person that actually really reached out to me since I've been here for about three and a half, going on four years. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I can't wait to go to this next meeting. I'm going to go, and I know people are going to feel a little bit funny that I'm there because I'm definitely a new face to the people. I mean, some people just go there. It's like a little hangout. It's not really even much of a town hall meeting from what I've heard. That It's pretty much just uh, some people that always get together on the first Tuesday of every month, you know. And I want to be one of those people. And I think that will help me as well. I think showing up there and being part of the group, you know, it might take a little while, but conversation will roll and I will be part of the group. So let's go in the snake room, see if we got a lock. Now this lock is just between my Mojave B and my normal possible head hypo, possible head ultra male. And since I don't have a hypo male or an ultra male male, I figured I'll put my Mojave B and, you know, you still get some pretty cool stuff and possibly even use them as giveaway snakes so i can tell right now we don't have a lock but he is down here courting and i like to go slow here because uh the camera has a part time focusing but yeah that male loves the ladies he doesn't waste any time at all do your business buddy do your business bud and my girl lola is getting Huge. Let's see if I can pull her out a little bit. Hey, honey. Look at the size of her. Yeah, I don't think it will be too long from now where she gives me a prelay shed. She is thick. <laughs> Super thick. Hey, sweetheart. I know this is going to startle you a little bit. Maybe not. But she is a sweet snake right here. She really is. Very tolerant of me. Ball pythons are a pretty tolerant snake in general. Um, you know, that's why a lot of people have them, and that's why they make pretty good pets. But, yeah. And then we got my clown, het clowns, both deep in shed. Pretty good, pretty good. And so is not she. I believe she's starting to go into shed as well. And this will be the next giveaway snake. And I'm sorry I haven't done that giveaway right away. Um, I'm still working on it. I just need to get up another $75 free that I don't have to worry about so that I can ship it out to the winner. And as soon as that happens, we will be doing a giveaway for this male black pastel. But, um, what else we got going on? Nothing? Alright, and uh, my temperatures in this room are staying at a perfect 79 degrees. Let's see if it will focus in. Yep, perfect 79 degrees, which is awesome because it's freezing outside, totally freezing, super duper cold. And again, I'm sorry about the little blurriness that goes on, camera's not the best. It's going to be a little bit before I can say about the money to get a new camera, just being honest with you. But yeah, so that giveaway should be coming up new, not too long from now. Um, oh, sorry. But yeah, everything's going well here at the shop. Want to get part of that committee and talking to people. My wife's actually trying to talk me into running to be on the board in the township that I actually live in, which is a neighboring township here. I live in Cedar River, and they have a small kind of paid position for the board and the committee, and I'm really thinking about doing it. Um, I really want to get out of the, the window business and the sales consultant stuff. You know, I, I, I just want to kind of follow a passion now, you know. Uh, our homes paid off and our lands paid off, you know, and 
I don't need to make a whole lot of money right now, and I'm not making any money from them right now anyway because of this whole situation where they don't want to pay me. Even though I've been working for them for like 16 years. <laughs> um, new owners, they all want a bigger piece of the pie. There's five of them, and they don't know nothing about the business whatsoever. And they just now realize that all the builders are there for me, and that they are just the middleman of that whole process. They were just informed this and now they know that for sure. So I'm sure something is going to come about, but as soon as it does, I think I'm going to let them go and start really following a passion. You know, I've, I've worked my butt off for, you know, doing something that I don't really enjoy for a long time. And I think if you want to be happy and you want your family to be happy, then you got to be happy. So, and you got to be doing something you want to do. So that's what my plan is. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, it's got to be something else. Okay, <laughs> I remember, so I watching something here on my computer. Um, a friend of mine has a channel, and it's, it's kind of a politically driven type thing, and it's uh, Ogre, O-R, or O-G-R-E. Um, he's a heck of a guy, but they're real political. I don't get too deep with the politics and stuff, but he's a great friend of mine. And they were chatting something about me on there, so I kind of looked at the sidetrack. But, uh, yeah, I should have some snakes coming fairly soon. I was hoping around the 16th... Uh, I was hoping to be able to receive my female Enchi and my male banana Enchi, but it still looks like my weather is going to be a little bit chilly in the nighttime. I mean, I'm going to hit 40 degrees during the day, but it's still going to be down like 18 at night, so going to have to maybe wait a little bit longer, as well as my exanthic female that I have coming from IDR. And Logan, it was great to see a video from you the other day, man. Awesome, awesome. Um, looking good. Looks like you got your car back. Um, and then I have some other stuff that's coming that I will let you see when it gets here. And, uh, yeah. So, that's some stuff that's actually coming not too long from now. And, um, I have other plans too. I gotta be careful. I gotta pick and choose and make the right decisions here, you know. So I don't fall on my face. But I have a couple, um, larger females coming that will add to the breeding. But I'm kind of in a pinch with that because I need the right male for them. That's going to cost a couple bucks too, but well worth the investment. So that's what's going on here at the Going Uber and the Fitz Family Constrictors Breeding Center, not open to the public. <laughs> I got to say that in case some local people see my stuff, they want to come out and hang out in the shop, and that's just not really what it's for. It's just a place that I can do my YouTube and breeding, you know. I've said that a million times. You guys are going to probably get sick of it. But yeah, so that's the plans. That's what I'm going to be doing. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And also, I need to get some racks built. I need to, I'm, I think I might even just end up building some myself because those racks in there are just hideous and ugly. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I think I need to build my own racks. i got to get new racks in there. So that's the next big thing on my list. All right, everybody, I'm going to get out of here. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell, let you know I upload a video. I love each and every one of you, and as always, see me. Bye.